This has been amazing. I'm, I'm going to leave you with one story. Because um, I, I feel like it's important to tell. Uh, it's not particularly funny. Uh, shouldn't have said that. Uh, but I, I feel like it's important to like, kind of like get like a understanding for, for grief and like stress. Because it's not like, it doesn't always have to be a bad thing is, is where I'm trying to go with this. And so on my first, my first deployment, uh, we were in Kandahar, uh, pretty close to an area of Afghanistan called Helmand Province. And this is, uh, at the time, the worst part of Afghanistan. It's like the Wild West. It's a huge Taliban stronghold. There are a bunch of Marines there. Happy birthday, by the way. Marines? Oh, okay, cool. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's bad news bears area of Afghanistan is like what the generals called it. And, <laughs> yeah, that's like, is the perfect response. <laughs> and, like, late one afternoon, we get a distress call from a radio station in Helmand. And they say, like, help us, please. Like, the, the Taliban is closing in on us, and, like, they're going to kidnap or kill us. And we were, we were just the closest people. Like, we we're the ones that heard the call. And so we spin up in our trucks, and we start driving out there. And like our trucks are like they're up armored like imagine like a Brinks truck, um, and it's kind of it's basically that. And so we start driving out there as fast as, our, as we can to like rescue this radio station. And I also feel like it's important to let you know that this is not like a top forty morning zoo kind of radio station, you know, playing today and yesterday's best hits. Uh, this is more of like a we play American propaganda radio station. So like more like a clear channel. Uh, <laughs> But eventually, like, we drive out there, it starts to get dark, and by the time we reach this fountain where this, like, radio station is sitting on top, it's, it's pitch black. And so we, we turn off the lights on our vehicles, and we have to drive up the side of this mountain. Uh, and the trail is maybe six inches wider than the vehicles themselves. So we're doing this with night vision. There's, there's no headlights because we can't give up the element of surprise. And the entire time everybody's in the back of these trucks being like a couple inches either way and we're done. And uh, we get to the top of the mountain and uh, there's a little clearing like just big enough for these trucks to park. And we kind of like back our, uh, like our backs, uh, back of the trucks to the, this hill that's like 300 feet uh, and then the radio station on top of it. So we basically, we have to drop our gates and run up this hill to this radio station where we are told that there are a bunch of Taliban guys like waiting for us. Not a great situation. And there's nowhere to hide. Like there's no cover, there's no concealment. It's just our trucks, the hill, and you know, the, the, the compound. And like we can't even, like there's not even enough room for us to like take cover behind the trucks. It's just, there's nothing there. And so we kind of come up with a game plan that we're all going to drop our ramps at the same time, run up the hill, and do what has to be. Kind of like the first five minutes of uh, Saving Private Ryan, like drop the gates and go. And we all have to do it at the same time so that, you know, we have a chance. And we're sitting in the back of the trucks waiting for the commander to give the word. And we, uh, we go and... Uh, like start doing our checks like on our gear, like making sure we're locked and loaded, making sure everything's like fitting like the, the way it should. And once that's done, we start shaking hands with each other and saying our goodbyes. And just kind of being like, you know, it was a pleasure to serve with you guys. I, I couldn't ask for, you know, better company and, and stuff like that. Like we're the we're the band at the end of Titanic. <laughs> and like a couple minutes after that, our commander gets on the radio and he's letting us know that it's time. And there's this weird peace. Like everybody, like we're shaking hands and it's the scariest moment of our lives. But there's like this peace, like we're like, there's nothing else we can do right now. We just have to do this. And like death may come for us, but almost as an old friend, if that makes sense. It's a very weird, like it changed my life. And so the commander gets on the radio and he's like, gentlemen, I couldn't ask for finer people to command. But you know, since we're here at the gates of hell, let's let the devil know we're here. Knock, knock. 
And then I get on the net and say, who's there? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I'm Pete Stangmeyer.